We're going to go on a journey. Come along with me as I teach you how to separate fact from fiction, truth from lies. I gotta say, that's a really funny joke you made there. Why? Why are you always lying? Mm, oh my god, stop fucking lying! Yeah, it is I want, because saying all you do is just make claims that are either half-truth at best or blatant lies at worst. And you show little to no evidence for your arguments, while I actually do show evidence for my arguments. If you don't know who I'm addressing, don't worry, it's not important. What matters is the truth, and in this video, I will show you how dishonest some of our interlocutors are. So first, let's look at a video called, Why I Don't Like the Anti-Dog Community. Today, I'm going to talk about why I do not like the anti-dog community. So, the anti-dog community is about, it's a community about people hating dogs. That is only partially correct. While many of us certainly do hate dogs, it's not like the point behind our movement is to hate dogs for no discernible reason. Yes, we hate dogs. But an honest person would ask, why? Only partially correct? Ninja, that describes your whole ass community. It's literally just hating dogs 24-7. Whether you have a reason or not, it doesn't change what your community is all about. But then again, it's not what it's completely all about. Just most of it. It's also about defending animal abuses, making false information about dogs. Like, they obsess over dogs all the time. We aren't the ones who obsess over dogs. Dog people are. In point of fact, that is one of our primary objections to dog culture. Not the ones obsessed with dogs. Hmm. All your videos and posts says otherwise. The way so many dog nutters obsess over dogs. It's not as if we're the ones with dog-related decorations and decals or posters and pictures, as well as bumper stickers and welcome mats, and everything else. We're not the ones bringing these things around, and actually forcing others in our vicinity to encounter them against their wishes. We're not the ones bringing dogs up when it's completely unrelated. So get this through your head. Devoting an online blog, social media account, such as Twitter, or an online video sharing platform to the dog problem is not the same thing as obsessing over actual dogs. My guy, you talk about actual dogs all the time. Like, you made several videos claiming they're ugly, which is pretty superficial. Also, they're obsessed because they have dog themed items. Really, mate? That's the best excuse- I mean, reason you can come up with? Like, dude, people have all sorts of animal themed items. Like cats and rabbits, for example. Does that mean that people who have said items are obsessed? Maybe. That doesn't automatically mean a peasant is obsessed with dogs because they have a dog-themed mug. Also, on the whole, what are the ones bringing these things around argument? Mate, that's just people taking their dogs on walks. And unless you're talking about taking them to places like restaurants, that's not a problem. People take their dogs on walks for a variety of reasons. Like exercise, socialization, or maybe spending time with their pet. Or the dog is a service slash therapy animal. Also, it's not impossible to not interact with a dog. Like the dog is probably just minding its own business. Like just don't interact with them at all. Also, randomly bringing up dogs? That one is you. Like saying they're evil and stuff. Some people might say that, but so what? The point is that the presence of dogs is detrimental. Anything that's a major part of human society can be judged as overall helpful or unhelpful, benign or harmful, useful or not. You get the point. And overall, dogs are far more harmful than helpful, and so on. A lot of people try to deny this. However, I have addressed all of these objections at length. I recommend the playlists on my channel as a good starting place. The of dogs is detrimental. Boy, you just love milking that, don't ya? And no, no one is denying that because it's blatantly untrue. Like, they arguably had a more positive effect on people. You know, like making them happy, helping them throughout history, etc. Also, all those videos are just Dog attack people. Dog kill people. Dog bark bad. Dog ruin environment. And that's basically just all those videos in a nutshell. More dogs don't harm people. And it's looking even worse for the dog kill statistic. And unless it's incessant barking, it mostly just ranges from people getting mildly annoyed to not giving a shit at all. And as for the dog's ruin environment, it's literally just the human's fault for not cleaning up after their dog. But, but, dogs attack animals. Yeah, and other animals attack other animals. And besides, it's literally people bringing their dogs to the situation. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna move on. When people say that dogs are evil, it basically means they're detrimental. And whether you think they are evil or not, what you have to look at is behavior. And not for nothing. But if a person were to do a lot of the things dogs do, most dog defenders would call them evil in a heartbeat. My guy, the fucking animals. They do things that are considered bad to people. You know, like... That. And besides, a lot of the things dogs do are pretty tame compared to what people have done. But what about working dogs, service dogs, and dogs on farms? Are you forgetting that these dogs exist? Dog apologists will go to great lengths to justify the presence of dogs in human society. They will cite incredibly rare and niche uses for dogs, such as them supposedly helping to detect improvised explosive devices or IEDs in combat zones. However, dogs detecting IEDs is not an argument in favor of widespread dog ownership, where dogs are kept as household pets. Um, no, it's an argument on why dogs can be helpful. 
Also, I find it funny how whenever we bring up those dogs, you always say they're rare and niche uses. When that doesn't even remotely change how helpful those dogs are. Like, most people are not firefighters, so does that change how helpful firefighters are? No, no it doesn't. Working dogs aren't pets, and the useless bark bags most of us encounter are not detecting explosives or anything. The vast majority of dogs in existence are either worthless strays that need to be culled en masse, as all they do is spread disease and fight each other in the streets, or they are equally useless pet dogs that aggravate people and terrorize neighborhoods while providing nothing beyond a subjective level of emotional fulfillment for their owners. The vast majority of dogs bark for no good reason, 100% of the time. No, no, that's just blatantly wrong. Dogs have very high senses, so they're either using their barks to communicate with other dogs, or because they're being territorial because they sense they're human or an animal. And not to mention all the dogs that are more quiet than others. Also, not surprised that you're using excuse, I mean reasons, for your sadism towards street dogs. And don't even try to hide it, we all know what type of person you are, buddy. Many stray dogs are not that hostile, in fact, Many of them are actually quite friendly. But, but, they spread diseases. Yeah, and so can everything on this planet. Also, I find it interesting that you say they provide nothing but a subjective emotional fulfillment, as if it doesn't contradict your point, when it does. Anyway, a reason I do not like them is that they are huge narcissists. That's not an argument that we're factually incorrect about anything. It is also a perfect example of classic psychological projection. So try again. <laughs> Classic psychological projection? Ninja, you constantly make posts on comments who disagree with you. You think your opinions are facts. And you believe all your false information garbage. And let's not forget you mocking my voice like you're doing right now. What? Did you really think I would watch your trash video and actually give you attention by responding to it? You didn't even say anything worth addressing. You basically just played my video in its entirety. You obviously didn't even understand it. You are not on my level. None of you are, really. The only reason I occasionally respond is, is because that creep makes so many videos that someone has to expose how stupid they are from time to time. This isn't even worthy of a good AI voice. You are on your last legs. I'm a centipede. Like, they say they're than everyone just because they do not like dogs. Who exactly are you referring to? They is not a name, and I haven't seen a single person in this space ever specifically say that they're better than everyone. Who is they? Ninja, I'm referring to your entire community. Like, they literally means multiple people. Guess this shows how high your IQ is. And don't act like you guys never said you were better. You constantly act like you're better. Like, like, they think your opinion is a fact. Again, there is no specificity in your criticism. You should watch my video titled, Dog Nutters are the Science Deniers, Not Us. It is a good starting point. Yeah, I did just watch it. And let's just say, it's no different than your other garbage. It's actually hilarious that you would accuse our side of trying to pass opinions off as facts, especially when the following challenge still stands. Can any dog lovers present scientific and statistical evidence that backs these following claims? You know what's actually has is you thinking these are unproven when there are many, 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 many studies that prove these points. But you can't admit that because your whole ideology falls apart. And stuff, despite it being an opinion. Yet they tell everyone to respect their opinion, despite the fact that they think their opinion is important. And there you have it, a dog nutter telling on himself, the way we feel is not important according to them. Like the way we feel about dogs intruding on our personal space, barking up a storm in neighborhoods and apartments, running up to us out of nowhere when we're outdoors, or launching brutal sustained attacks on us and our children, among many other things. This entire debate comes down to one thing. Dog owners don't consider the impact their lifestyle choice has on us. Uh, no. That's not what my point was. It was about you people thinking your opinions mattered more than others. But to be fair, that was vague, so I won't be holding you for that one. And why? Why should we respect your opinion? You make false claims about dogs that are easily debunked with a simple Google search. You antagonize people for liking an animal you don't. And worst of all, you defend animal abusers when they're caught. But, but, it's dog, not animal abuse. Dogs are animals, ninja. So don't even try that stupid excuse. Oh, and speaking of excuses... They invade our personal spaces. Just move away or tell the owner to move their dog. Come on, it is not the end of the world. Dog bark bad. Like I said before, unless it's incessant barking, it mostly just ranges from people getting mildly annoyed to not giving a shit. Dog attack bad. More dogs don't attack people. And I'm sorry I had to repeat those things in the video, but hey, you do what you gotta do. They straight up don't care, in many cases. In the real world, dogs do horrible things, but then we're told to blame the owner, even when there is none, and it never accomplishes anything. Yeah, maybe because the owner is a neglectful piece of shiitake. Also, saying it doesn't accomplish anything is just untrue when these types of owners face charges and also serve as an example of what not to do as a dog owner. Realistically speaking, dog owners are seldom if ever held accountable. And regardless, these problems persist, so clearly that rhetoric is empty. First of all, that statement is false, given what I said seconds ago. And secondly, people blame people for hitting ones, 
but they still happen, so is that red red empty? People blame people for murder, yet murders still happen, so is that red red empty? No, no they're not. Look, we live in a world where we can't prevent bad people from doing bad things, but that doesn't mean they can't be called out, or face any consequence of their actions. And I think it's interesting that you claim to hate dog owners, despite unintentionally defending them right here. Anyway, they call people who don't like dogs, dog owners. It seems you are confused, or perhaps you misspoke. We are the people who don't like dogs, but there's a reason for the term dog nutter. Just as there's a reason we don't like dogs. Yeah, I did misspoke actually. And your excuse, I mean reasons, is boiled down to, They disagree with us, so therefore dog nutter. They like dogs, dog nutter. They have dog themed items, dog nutter. They laugh at anyone who loses their dogs. Like, they laugh their ass off and say, just get a new one, and stuff. Despite the fact that they don't know what they've been through. Like, their dog was the one that was making them happy, and yet these people are essentially bullying them for someone for losing a loved one, which is kind of just disgusting. The fact that you would refer to a dog as a loved one is a huge part of the problem. But also, not all of us will engage in this behavior. And it may seem heartless to you, but you have to look at it from our perspective. Your dogs are our enemies. They are not our loved ones. They are the opposite. Many of these dogs are enormous rage monsters that pose a very real threat to human life. And all dogs are a detriment to public health. And he starts to repeat the same delusions the same crappy claims, and now he's doing the dogs are enemies. Ninja, whether you hate dogs or not, if you mock a person just for losing their pet, then you're just a piece of shit. Oh, and don't lie, Ninja. You and your little friends have engaged in this behavior. I have videos and screenshots that prove it. But, but, the comments are irrelevant. No, no they're not. Those comments are from your words. So they're not irrelevant just because you want them to, clown. Also, whether you like it or not, pets are loved ones. And if you make fun of an 8 year old because his hamster died, then you're still just a piece of shit. The reason I am responding to this whole video is because it can be viewed out of context by someone who could be misled about the actual reason for our movement. But this particular YouTuber is incredibly dishonest. Don't let him fool you into thinking he's a good faith actor who genuinely cares about the welfare of dogs. If that were indeed the case, he would not feel the need to lie about things like this. Oh no, I am not misleading anyone at all. That would be you. And this video is even more proof of that. You are so blinded by your own delusions that you'd rather excuse the terrible things your community has done or just blatantly ignore them. I have shown a ton of evidence showing that your community is not so great as you want to think it is. And yet, you have the audacity to say I'm incredibly dishonest. If you actually want to see someone who's incredibly dishonest, then look at the mirror. He has made false accusations about people without a shred of actual evidence, present company included, when called out on it numerous times, and when it is explained clearly why he's wrong and why it's in bad form to say these things. He either ignores what is said, or doubles down on his dishonesty. I think it's interesting that you say I don't have any evidence, when I have these. His girlfriend allegedly was forced to do it as punishment for cheating on him. Now, I don't believe that. I believe she willingly did it and wanted to do it. I personally, that's my personal belief, based on uh, just knowing how people are. I want it to be receptive. I want young people, I want kids to be receptive to this channel. Okay, my channels, my content is kid friendly. So no, your master is still a complete creep. And I will admit, it was a big stretch to call you a groomer, but it's still iffy to defend him for his actions. And I'm just gonna end it right here because the rest of the video is just him being a complete narcissistic a-hole. So hope you all enjoyed. Good night.